These are instructions for installing PHSTAT on your computer. The first thing you must do is create a folder called ODS262. And I have already created that folder inside of my directory. So I'm going to go to that folder. And in that folder, ODS262, I have also created another folder within it called PHSTAT. So I have this PHSTAT folder inside of ODS 262 and in PHSTAT folder I have placed PHSTAT and the help files. So the location of PHSTAT is on my computer inside of an ODS 262 folder in a PHSTAT folder that you must create. So download PHSTAT and put it into this folder. After you have downloaded PHSTAT to your folder, what you can do is start up Excel, and from Excel, click on, uh, you will see that I don't have uh, PHSTAT installed. PHSTAT would show up here under add-ins. So there's the ribbon up here and under add-ins, uh, you do not see PHSTAT. So to get PHSTAT installed, you go to Options, and from Options, you go to Add-ins, and from Add-ins, you'll see down here, it'll say Manage Excel Add-ins. Click on Go, and you will see the enabled add-ins you should have the analysis tool pack uh, selected. Uh, these other add-ins you do not need to have selected, but certainly the analysis tool pack selected. So this shows the active add-ins. To add PHSTAT, you click on Browse, and you navigate to that PHSTAT folder that you have created. So I'm going to my ODS262 folder, and I'm going to my PHSTAT folder, and there is PHSTAT. So I'm going to click on PHSTAT, and click OK. So PHSTAT, uh, yes, click on yes, add in to add to the folders, yes. So now we have PHSTAT loaded. And if you click OK, you will see under next to add-ins, you will see PHSTAT. So this is PHSTAT. However, this will only work the first time. Uh, the next time you start up Excel, PHSTAT will not load. And the reason for that is that you need to tell P, uh, Excel that PHSTAT being a macro is perfectly safe. So what you must do is you go back to Options, so File Options, go to Options, and then you go to uh, Trust Center, click on Trust Center, click on Trust Center Settings, and from there you want to go to Trusted Locations. And you'll see your trusted, your current trusted locations. So I'm going to say add new location and I'm going to browse to my ODS262 folder, to my PHSTAT folder, and that's where I'm going to be. You'll see nothing. It'll, it'll show nothing inside. It'll just show up here the, the path for that, uh, for that folder. So you click OK, and then that folder is added to your trusted location. You click OK, and then you click OK one more time, and you'll see the PHSTAT folder has been added. You click on OK one more time, and you click on OK one more time, and now PHSTAT will run every time you start up Excel. So let me show you PHSTAT. Um, you can look at PHSTAT and do a histogram. Do 
a scatter plot, do stem and leaf display, and so forth. Uh, but let's let's make sure that PHStat is installed correctly first. So click here to close Excel. So Excel is closed. I'm going to start up Excel one more time. Excel starts up. PHStat loaded. I can see it right there. So I'm going to open a blank workbook, and PHStat is there, just as I expected it to be. Remember, you must follow all the steps I've shown you. You must create a directory where PHStat is saved, and you must navigate to that directory using Excel. And after you do that, you need to set it as a trusted location, because it will not work the next time you start up Excel. So here is PHStat with uh, all the drop-down windows, and this is uh, this should do it for installing PHStat. The instructions uh, are for Windows. Installing PHStat on a Mac is a simpler task, uh, but I will make a different video for that. So thank you very much, and that's it for installing PHStat. Oh, by the way. Uh, so let's start up Excel one more time. It's hidden for some reason. Excel is hiding. There it is. Okay. Uh, so click on a blank workbook. And because I place the, all the files that are from the PHStat folder in the PHStat directory, when I click on help for PHStat, I get the help menu. So this help menu sorry, the PHStat help. This only works because I placed the help file in the same directory as PHStat. So you can get, uh, use this as a guide to help you uh, navigate with PH, PHStat. And I will give you examples uh, later on how to use different features of PHStat. So this is the help menu and there are different options. My computer is slow, so it's not showing uh, all the features right away. Yeah, it's not showing them for some reason. But that's how, that's how you install the help menu as well. So about PHStat and help for PHStat. Um, and that does it for this video. Thank you.